Hey, what's up, what's up, family? I hope everybody having a good day. Today's uh, topic that we want to talk about for our recap for week 14 was, who are you tithing to? So this week's devotion was really focused on the purpose of tithing, the, the spiritual benefits that come with tithing, and what God wants to do in our life. So when we look at the purpose of tithing, we understand that God requires us to give a tenth of what we produce. So a tenth of what we produce to give it back to him. So <clears throat> when we think about that, that's like one of the best investments that you can even think of, that you can make 100% and, and a person only said they only want 10% back and you get to keep the 90. And God tells us time over time that if we just trust in him, that he'll provide all of our needs. And it's important for us to stand on those principles, stand on those promises from God, because God is not a man, so he cannot lie. So if he tells us that he's going to provide all of our wants and our needs in abundance that, that are according to his word, according to his will, that he's going to do those things. And so it's bigger than God just saying, hey, I want you to give me some money. It's bigger than that. God wants to transform, one, how we think about money, how we utilize money, and then transform our heart. So when we think about how we use money, we think like, you know, money is like, oh, I want to be, like somebody brought up on the call, like, oh, some people are like, I want to be a millionaire, I want a billionaire. But it's like, okay, it's people who have that money and then they don't have nothing at all. They have a mansion, they got the cars, and they still feel empty. Because why? Because we have to have something that fulfills us. But when we have a relationship with God, we are fulfilled by him. So we, we know that it's not materialistic things or things that truly don't matter. So we have to understand the importance of money and what, what it is here to do. So it's here for us to have it as a resource to, one, enjoy ourselves. You know, spend money on things that we like, again, according to God's word. But also, two to look at it from a perspective of saying, how can I help other people? How can I use this money to be a blessing to someone else? Because God has blessed us with resources, financial resources, to, to do the things that we desire. But then now, how can we be a blessing to other people? And that's where the transformation of our heart comes into play. Because when God is doing these different things for us, it's like, okay, okay, I bless you today. And then now I see you, you out in the store, or you see somebody in the family they in need, are you going to be, are you going to give it to them? You know, or somebody is in need and, and God is calling you to sacrifice your time. You know, are you going to do that? So it's all about changing our heart to be in a place where it's like, you know what? I have gratitude in my heart because I know that I am blessed and I'm thankful to be able to be able. I'm thankful to be able to be a blessing to someone else. And that right there will change your heart. And if you have been in that experience before where you've seen someone in need and you're like, wow, I can actually dig in my pocket or I can go in my, my wallet and bless this person. That's a beautiful feeling because it's people who want to be able to bless people, but they can't even do it. And it's people who, um, you know, truly need it. It's people who really need the help that 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 God has called us to do as a as a body of Christ to come together, to bring ties together, to help back into into the communities. And I just love that ability to be able to look at, you know, the things that, you know, the different churches that I've been a part of, the things that we're able to do with the, in the community, um, things that we're able to do with the high schoolers, kids going to college, providing resources for the different people and different functions that are within the church, that those things would have not came about if people didn't come together to put resources together, to upbuild the kingdom, to be able to help other people that are in need, Right. And so that's, that was really the main thing that comes back from it. But the other thing, as it relates to tithes, the benefits that come from that is that we increase our faith and trust in God. Because once we give, we realize and we see that God is true to what he says, that when we follow his commands, that he's going to provide an abundance. And so when we give, we, we're, we're tied and we're tied and we're tied and, and we start seeing the financial benefits that come back from that. I don't mean that from a space of saying like, oh, you know, what? I give God 10. Then, you know, like you bet betting at a gamble table. I put 10 on black and I'm going to get a thousand back. Like it don't work like that. You God wants to change your heart, as I talked about earlier on. So that means if you're giving your tie, you have to be consistent, trusting and knowing that I'm giving this because this is what he's required of me. But one, I'm giving because I cheerfully want to, because really he, he deserves all that I have because he created me. And he didn't have to create me. He provided everything for me and he didn't have to provide it for me. So we have to take that understanding into consideration and realize that when he asks for 10%, that's nothing. 
That's nothing at all. And the fact that he'll take that 90 and stretch it, come on, man. That's a blessing right there. And if you're a person that you've seen it happen in your life, come on, man. Leave a comment below because there's people that need to really hear and see other people's testimonies as it relates to tithing. Because when you in a place where you confidently are tithing, God will start giving blessings beyond financial. Like that's the that's the bare minimum. He gonna give you blessings in your spiritual walk, increase your faith, um, the uh, health, you know, or even people in your family or even your future generation. God says that in the Bible, like when you give and you give from a place of uh, 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 of 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 wanting to give out of your heart, that your your kids are blessed. So that means that not only by you being obedient, your kids will be blessed. The generations after you will be blessed. And for me, I want to do everything in my power to make sure that they're blessed. I want to do everything in my power to make sure my kids are covered by the blood of Jesus. So it's important for us as parents, as um, um, leaders in our community to do the things that we're supposed to so that those things can fall in the next generations uh, of other people that's in our family or the people that surround us that we consider family. So um, lastly, the last thing I want to talk about as it relates to tithing is spiritual maturity. So when we talk about spiritual maturity, it relates to two things. We said when you're tithing, sometimes people who are who are early in their walk or even later in their walk that don't have the spiritual maturity, they say, I'm not tithing because I don't know what they're doing with that money. But it's like when you have spiritual maturity, you have an understanding that I got to do my part. And one of the analogies that someone said on the call was it's just like basketball. Like, you know what? I don't got to worry. About, if this person wide open, let me pass the ball to them. They got It's up to them to make the live. It's up to them to make the shot. But I did my part by passing to that person that's wide open. Same thing relates to us. If it's if it God causing us and put us on our heart to give, it's our opportunity to give. We have to do that. Don't worry about what the people that are and what they're doing with the money and the resources. But I also say that with a caveat to say, you have to have discernment, and that comes with spiritual maturity through reading the word, through applying the word, and then understanding the word to a point where you're uh, putting it into your everyday action. So, yes, having the part of doing your part, giving it out when you're supposed to, tithing when you're supposed to, but then also giving to people as well, but then also having the discernment to look around you. If this is the church that you are going to, and the pastor, or you see the treasurer, the people in the, in the place is not doing right with the money, then that means that's not the church for you. That doesn't mean you you stop tithing. That means you know what? Hey, this is a church that I'm not. They're not aligned with God. So let me remove myself. Go to a new church. Now get back into that space where I'm tithing and doing what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe even tithing <clears throat> from a different perspective. Maybe it's to a foundation. Maybe it's to something that that is near and dear to your heart that God's placing your heart, where you can give back until you get to that point of getting back to your church home. So I wanted to just share that as well, because sometimes people say, well, what if the pastor buying no jumbo jets and got a Bentley out front? No, if he got a Bentley and a jet out front and it's a leak in the roof, something's not right there. Something's not right with the leadership at that church. If you're prioritizing other things over the things that truly need to be done first and foremost. So just always have that discernment and that comes with spiritual maturity as we continuously walk with God, understanding the Bible, reading the Bible, but then also most importantly, applying the Bible. We, we have to be not just readers of the word, but doers of the word. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe and share with your family and friends. You never know who needs this content. As always, the information for the book club uh, will be in the description. We are on week 14. So look, we got a lot more weeks to go. If you want to join, just send an email to um, uh, info at littlebrotherinspires.com. And again, that'll be in the description as well. So thank you guys for joining. And I hope that you guys have a blessed week. To God be the glory. Peace.